Hey everyone, my name is Elisa Labrati from Kathy Labrati's Antique Dolls. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about my favorite picks from our upcoming red tag sale on Ruby Lane. The red tag sale runs from Tuesday 8 a.m. Um, Pacific time until Thursday 8 a.m. Pacific time. Um, and I'm going to talk to you about a few of the dolls that we have marked down. We've marked down 60 items on Ruby Lane, 30% off of the prices that they were initially introduced to the market at. Um, which is a really big deal because that means that you guys can get some really awesome deals on some fabulous dolls. So I'm going to start by talking about this fabulous Parian over here. She's a really recent addition to our stock. Um, she went up only a week and a half ago, maybe two weeks ago. She's fabulous. I want you guys to take a really close look at that hair. Look at that hair. Um, she's just a great example. She's got pierced ears. She's in this really cute costume. And look at these boots. I mean, these boots are super, super rare, super spectacular. She's in absolutely perfect condition on her original body, except for a little repair to her thumb. Otherwise, she's mint and she's really marked down. Um, the next doll that I want to uh, show you all is this Kessner. This is a swivel head, um, beautiful lady Kessner with a gorgeous closed mouth. Um, she has this great original costume. Look at this costume. I mean, this is one of the things that we can really enjoy um, in dolls that we've listed on Ruby Lane at these discount prices rather than on eBay is that, you know, they, they have these great outfits. She's got antique shoes. She's got this great straw bonnet and she's, she's just a treasure. Um, and I know that she's going to go because she's going to be way under a thousand dollars in the sale. So that's great. Um, and I have two examples of some wonderful Beltons. Uh, this little girl is just delightful. Um, look at her face. I mean, she has the cutest little face with these beautiful ginger curls. And uh, she's in this little bebe costume. As I'm sure some of you know, the Belton and Sonneberg dolls were made as kind of um, the budget models of the French bebés, and so they were very much, they had bodies that were meant to be dressed in these bebé outfits, and this girl, um, again, she's going to be way under a thousand dollars, and normally her retail price would probably be around twelve hundred, so that's a great opportunity for someone who can't afford a doll like that to get this one, because um, she's going to be marked down tomorrow, so... Um, and we have, I, I like that these two outfits match. That's why we put them next to each other. We have this great Biedermeyer coming into the sale too. Um, look at that hair. She has this great hair. Uh, she's wearing just a fabulous, fabulous antique outfit or rather a, an outfit made out of antique fabrics. And, um, I'm sorry, it's an antique. My apologies. Uh, she, she has a full set of underwear. She has this great body. Check out those legs, those boots, these pantaloons with that embroidery anglaise there. And look at her face. She's in perfect condition and she has a really, really sweet, demure little smile that the Biedermeyers are known for. Um, now I'm gonna get to my favorite doll. Sorry, I'm standing in front of them. This is my favorite doll on the sale, personally. I don't know why this doll is in the sale. I love her. I think she's worth every penny of her retail price. Um, her hat's a bit askew right now, but she is so gorgeous. This is the second Belton that we have in the sale. Uh, I mean, come on, look at that face. She is uh, a portrait Jumeau type Belton. Um, the portrait Jumeau, Jumeau, as I'm sure many of you know, in the size would, a second series portrait would run you about $10,000. Um, but you can get the beautiful German version. Uh, for way, way less than that under, I think she's going to be like under uh, about 1500 or less. Please don't quote me on prices, but I think that's where she is. She's got this gorgeous antique wool costume, um, big blue eyes and just the sweetest face. And, uh, yes. Did you see those shoes? Did you see the shoes? I love these shoes. These shoes are outstanding. All right. Um, and now while we're on the topic of portrait chumos that are not portrait chumos, I have, for your perusal, this outstanding um, paper mache that looks quite exactly like a portrait Jumeau. You will not get closer with any doll that is not an actual portrait than this amazing, amazing example. She has a beautiful original costume. She is, she is basically as mint as a paper mache comes. Uh, 
her hands are perfect, her body is perfect, you know, a little bit of facial wear, but that's really to be expected with these delicate dolls. French paperweight eyes, um, a great bonnet. She is, she is just, she's just delightful. Um, now I'm gonna move to the other side of the table. So who among you loves French dolls? Because we have quite a few special examples, but I pulled just two for the video. Um, this delightful little one is a fabulous Jules Steiner and she is so sweet in person. Look at her little size. Look at her little boots. Look at her gorgeous, gorgeous dress. I'm going to spin this dress around so you can really take in the full glory of this outfit. It perfectly matches her eyes, the blue of this dress. It's made of antique fabrics by a real masterful seamstress. And uh, she has, like I said, these very cute, cute shoes, a little straw bonnet. She is delightful as well. I'm sorry, they're all delightful to me. I, they bring me great delight. Now, this fashion doll, I have had so many inquiries about her in the last few months. She is another one of those special dolls that is truly all original. She is, this is her original costume. Look at that yellow silk cravat, ladies cravat. She has her original skirt underneath her newly made overskirt. We, we made her the overskirt, but unfortunately most of the silk has melted. Uh, but her new owner is going to get the fabric, another a larger piece of the fabric um, that we made the skirt out of. So if you decide that you want to make the sleeves to go over this outfit eventually, you absolutely can, but I would just display her as is because I think she's great. Something really special is this wig. Her wig is original. This is from the Jumeau factory, probably overseen by Ernestine Jumeau. Just a great example of a fashion doll. Um, and she just, she's, she's beautiful. And now for the last doll that I'm going to show you. Um, this is, in my opinion, the most beautiful Queen Louise you will ever see as long as you live. Um, a lot of people have wondered why we listed a Queen Louise for, I think it was $1,600. Well, it's because this one is outstanding and we have had offers, we have had interest, we have had a ton of people going crazy for this doll because she just has such a singular face. She has these brown sleep eyes, as you can see they sleep. Um, she's wearing a gorgeous antique silk costume. She has antique shoes and she has this wig. Take a minute to take in this wig. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this wig is alone worth like $400. These beautiful, long, antique human hair wigs and it even has the original bows. She's just a treasure and she is going on sale lower than I ever thought that we would have her. Um, and she's beautiful. So... I hope that you all can find a real treasure tomorrow. Um, if you're, if you don't have time to shop tomorrow, I'm sure that there's still going to be a lot up on Wednesday, and and if you're an early bird, Thursday morning. Um, so take advantage. Uh, email us with any questions, um, and you can even call us at seven one eight eight five nine zero nine zero one. You can call our office anytime to get more info about these dolls or other dolls in the sale. I'm going to post the link to the sale down below. Uh, comment on the video. Tell me if you liked it. Tell me if there are any dolls that you want special videos on. Uh, like and share. Please share it with all your friends and I hope to see you soon again. Best of luck at the sale.